something fell to Earth 80,000 years ago. A strange extraterrestrial object. The most valuable rock in the world. This is a strange story of the Hoba Meteorite. Here is the largest single piece of iron on the surface of the Earth. 60 tons. It fell about 80,000 years ago in present-day Namibia. And it was discovered in 1920 by a farmer working in his field. Now lots of meteorites hit our Earth, but none are 60 tons in a single fragment. Why did the Hopa meteorite survive re-entry? We think its unusual flat shape increased atmospheric drag and slowed down its terminal velocity so much that it did not leave a crater. Meteorites first hit the Earth at over 23,000 miles an hour. But the Hoba meteorite landed at 700 miles an hour. Why? Probably because of its shape. Just like a spacecraft re-entry putting its flat face into the atmosphere, causing drag and burning. What this farmer found is, to this day, the most valuable thing on planet Earth. It's far more valuable than gold. It has a high nickel content and rusts extremely slowly, although it does rust. Ancient people thought meteorites were gifts from the gods. King Tutankhamun was buried with a dagger made of a meteorite. It's hardly rusted. The Hoba meteorite was by far the most valuable object on Earth. You could have bought a mansion with just a small ingot. These days, modern metallurgy has far exceeded the iron in a meteorite. So today, the Hoba meteorite in rural Namibia is just a tourist attraction. Next time you're there, go and see it, because the truth is out there.